Let's start this segment and talk about the S&P 500 ETF. SPY is the best recognized and oldest ETF and typically tops rankings for large AUM and greatest trading volume. The fund tracks the massively popular US index, the S&P 500. Few realize, however, that the S&P's index committee chooses 500 securities to represent the US large cap space, not necessarily the 500 largest by market cap, which leads to some omissions of single names. In terms of the chart, we're sitting or resting on the 50 day moving average. We're below the longer term moving average at 200 days. In terms of the momentum, the RSI reading, a very simple overbought, oversold indicator, is sitting at 59, which is basically in no man's land. Again, for the longer term investors, really a close back above these longer term moving averages would suggest um, some further upside. Let's move on to the second slide. Um, we've got the Invesco QQQ Trust, the NASDAQ. Um, the fund only invests in non-financial stocks listed on NASDAQ and effectively ignores other sectors too, causing it to skew massively away from a broad-based large cap portfolio. QQQ has huge tech exposure, but it's not a tech fund in the purest sense. Again, in terms of the charts, we're back above the 50 day moving average, but below the 200 day moving average. Momentum wise, the RSI reading at 62, again, not overbought. You've got a series of higher highs and higher lows there. It'd be very interesting to see if we could take out the old December highs. Okay, that would be a third attack in that area, which would be pretty favourable from a tech standpoint. Let's wrap up with the third slide. We've got the IWM, the Russell 2000 ETF. IWM is among the best choices in the crowded US small cap field. The fund tracks the popular Russell 2000 index and boasts low holding costs with excellent liquidity, features that have helped it to attract billions of dollars in assets. Interestingly, the one year return here down 11%. The PE ratio um, recorded as of the 1st of February, currently reading at 16. In terms of the chart, this one for me is probably the pick of the bunch. Again, above the 50 day moving average, trading below the 200 day moving average. Momentum wise, we've got a reading of 67. Again, the textbooks will look at sort of 20 as oversold and 80 as overbought. And again, you've got a series of sort of higher highs and higher lows. It appears to be chugging along quite nicely. Again, we want to respect the December highs. They need to, again, be taken out hopefully on a third attack into that area. That's it from me, thank you very much.